Come inside, don't be shy, Jolene can't wait to meet you. For a trailer park Christmas, the trailer park way, with a brand new recipe every day. Sending videos from her trailer, yeah, she's Jolene Sugar Baker. Come and spend the holidays, the trailer park way. Trailer Park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Trailer Park Christmas 2014, where I show you how the Trailer Park celebrates the holiday. I'm so excited to be spending the holidays with you, and I've got a calendar that you can download at TrailerParkChristmas2014.com. Now, I've done a video every day since December 1st, and I'm going all the way until December 25th. And today is Sunday, and I see that it says Trailer Park Appetizer. Now, around the holidays, you often get gifts like this dipping oil, and a lot of people think that it's just like a decoration, and they set it in their kitchen until it becomes an artifact for the Smithsonian and you know these are actually real good and you need to use it up real soon or they become you know useless and today's recipe actually uses this dipping sauce and it's a nice kind of a garlicky pizza kind of bread pull apart kind of like monkey bread but it's actually savory it's a pull apart bread that uses pepperoni the dipping sauce and you actually have some dipping sauce on the side for your uh, friends and family when they come over. You can put it on your brunch table or a buffet table. I'm going to show you how to make my pull-apart bread up next on Trailer Park Christmas 2014. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making my crazy pull-apart bread is really simple and you're going to need some of this pizza dough in a tube and it always scares me when you peel it and it pops open. Let me see if it'll Let's see, it's, well, of course it doesn't do it right now. What is that? It says, press it seam. Oh, there we go. We're going to need probably about two of these packages. Let me open these up and I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, so we have our pizza dough kind of unrolled here. What you're going to do is grab a little piece like this. And I like to make little small balls. And you just kind of squish them together just like that. And I'm using an angel cake pan, and you could use a kind of a bunt pan, um, but I like the two pans because they just work a little bit better. What you're going to do is you're going to take these little pizza dough balls, I guess that's what you call them, and we're just going to make a layer of them down here at the bottom of the pan. And it's okay that it's not greased because we're going to be using that dipping oil in a moment. So let me get going with that and I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, we've got our first layer of the pizza dough balls. We've got that nice kind of a garlic olive oil dipping sauce. And we're just going to sprinkle a little bit over the balls just like that. And you could use any kind of flavor or any kind of dipping sauce that has olive oil in it, but we need to make sure that we coat them. There we go. And I like to take some garlic powder and just sprinkle some in there because that brings out the garlic flavor even more. And then I found these baby pepperoni minis, and we're going to sprinkle some of those in there. That's going to be really good. And you could probably use the turkey kind too if you can't eat the pork. And then... What we're going to do is put some mozzarella cheese in there, and I've got the pre-shredded kind, and we're just going to sprinkle some in there. We're going to probably use just one package, so we're just going to spread some out like that. And now we're going to work on some more of the little balls and build up another layer and start again. So I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, we've got another layer here. We're going to add some more of the dipping sauce over the bread mixture just like that. Remember to shake it up in between so you get all that goodness down at the bottom of all the spices and flavors. And we're going to add some more of the garlic powder just like that. 
and you could cut back on the garlic powder if you have like a date later on and more of the little pepperoni minis right on in there and some more of the cheese just like that right on into the pan there we go this is gonna be so good and we're gonna work on more layers until we get to the top with the two tubes of the pizza dough here so I'll check back with you in just a moment okay we made all our layers to our crazy bread here now don't fill it all the way to the top because it's going to puff up real pretty in the oven. It's going to be lightly brown on top when it's done and we preheated the oven to 375 degrees. It's going to take about 30 to 40 minutes and I put it on a cookie tray so that it won't leak all out down on the bottom of the oven. So set your timer. And there you have it, my pizza pull-apart bread. And look at that. That will certainly make you the talk of the park. And the pepperoni on top, and it nice and brown. And the cheese melted on top, and the oil glistening on top. And people will think you are a baker. And you'll put this on a platter, and just set it on a buffet table, and people will just take pieces of it, because that's what you did. You made pieces of it. And look how easy it just takes off just like that. And I can't wait to try this, so let me give a taste. Wow. That is so good. And, mmm, I might eat all of this, which is probably not good for me. Mmm. That is so good. You could have a dipping sauce. It's certainly flavorful with that garlic and that dipping sauce already, but you could have like a marinara sauce on the side or maybe some ranch dressing. What would you dip um, it in? Leave a comment down at the bottom. That is so good, and that's certainly going to make you the star at your next party. And so simple to put together, and even add your own ingredients too. Don't forget to follow the trailer park on Twitter. I'm Jolene's Trailer there. Don't forget to add me on Facebook. I'm there too. Google Plus. And download the calendar at Trailer Park Christmas 2014 so you can look back on all the recipes and crafts that we've already done. I see tomorrow that it's a kind of a craft and a recipe mixed together. It's how to make holiday spice tea. And that's certainly a Trailer Park tradition. So hit that subscribe button. I'll be back real soon, actually tomorrow. And I love spending the holidays with you, and I'm going to go chow down on this. I'll be back soon. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eye shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with Bye. pride in the double wide. Visit my store at trailerparkstore.com.